And welcome back to Let's Talk News Now. I, in my introduction, I said I had probably one of the most giving, one of the most caring, most compassionate people that I have ever had the privilege of meeting. And that says a lot because, I mean, a lot of these folks I met from these not-for-profits are really, really great people. Actually, all of them are. But I have here with me Vanessa Moreno from Miracle Lights for Kids. You are, without a doubt, one of the most gracious young women I've ever met in my life. That's quite an introduction. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate and, it. Well, the thing is, here's, I know it's going to go right when myself and Alice sit down with Mrs. McGee and you. And before, I, I don't think we're even 10 minutes into the meeting, and the tissues are all coming out. <laughs> That's what we like to do. We like to push for that little tear. We like to break them in. We want to see the tear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole set just cracked up. <laughs> okay. Well, the right. thing is, it was just, it just was absolutely awesome. And by the way, you know, you were supposed to be with us last week, but you couldn't quite get here. There was a little mishap on the way. Right. But did you catch the, did you catch the shout out? I did. That was awesome. All right. And did you, did what do you think? Did the boss do okay to cover for you for a couple hours? I think I think she did good. I think she knows what she's doing. I think so <laughs> a little bit. If you missed it last week, we had uh, we had Ann McGee on, and she's done the Oprah show, and she's done Montel's show, and she's done all kinds of mm -hmm. uh, different things. So it's always a privilege to have people such as her on the on the set as well. So I, I thought it was kind of clever, actually. Yes. Yeah, you turned around and took a little dive there, so that way the boss got <laughs> out of the box. I did it on purpose. I tried to fake a heart attack, but, you know, I still have to be here today, so there it didn't work out very well. Doggone it. I hate <laughs> when it doesn't work your way. Let's back up here a little bit. We've talked so much last week about Miracle Flights for Kids, and the work that they do and you have done is absolutely awesome. So let's start back. You've been with Miracle Flights for how long? Almost six years. Six years? Yes. So tell me how you got the job. Well, it just, <laughs> it was just an ad that I answered. I mean, it was just a, a, an assistant job, and it turned into a career. I mean, this is, this is amazing. It's so rewarding. It, it's not, it's, I never expected it to be this, and I'm just amazed. Well, the thing is, and now your function there is that you're the one who actually does all the bookings. Is that correct? Well, no. No, I'm a, uh, I assist their flight director, so I do speak with a lot of the families. I help them with the initial intakes. And gathering of the paperwork, okay. um, but there is a flight department that does that. That actually gets, get, gets mm -hmm. the flights and so on. Yes. So what is it when you're hearing these stories day in and day out about how kids, if they could just get, afford the flight, mm -hmm. they and their family could afford the flight to be able to get to a doctor for a second opinion or for a third opinion. I love the fact you guys will even cover third opinions. That's like great. Right. I mean, like, Mrs. McGee was like, not just second opinions, we do third opinions right. too. She was on it. So... When the families come back to you, or you hear about these cases, almost from either way, what's the impact on you? Well, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. You know, you, you wake up and you have a bad day and you're thinking, oh, well, poor me. And then you go to work and you listen to all these stories and you're like, well, no, I really don't have a bad day. And then you see, you get thank you cards, you see pictures of after the surgery, after the second opinion, and these kids are just smiling and they're just running around and they don't even know anything's wrong. And if, if folks are not familiar with it, I know that Jacob just pulled up our web, the website and song for you, which people can go to miracleflights.org, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. And be able to learn a whole lot more. And of course, and you'll accept donations there as yes. well. All right? We do. Um, but when you've got these families and so on that are coming to you, can you hear the anxiety? You can. You hear the frustration. You hear you know, their voice quivering because they're just desperate and they need help and they just don't know what to do. And then once you tell them, you know, yeah, we can help you, and it's, it's just they, they don't believe it sometimes. And so basically you folks will bring a family in. Obviously you, you test for validity, you mm -hmm. know, through a doctor. You make sure yes. that and the, there really is another doctor at the other end that really has made time in their schedule to turn around and to see this child right. and so on and so on. So it's completely all validated, mm -hmm. you know, from top to bottom. But once you make that decision, then how long will you continue to give that family support? As many times as needed. We have, um, I can think of, comes to mind, two families here in Vegas. One um, was a little girl who we started helping when she was a baby. She was months old. Now she's in elementary. Uh, the last time I saw her, she was uh, practicing her vocabulary words with some words that I didn't even know. <laughs> I was like, Around wow. Around here, that's easy for me. <laughs> okay. And then we have another little boy. Um, you know, we've helped him. I think the last time I spoke with him at the beginning of this year was 20, 21 times that we've assisted him, and he's only three years old. Okay. So, so it's not, it's not, it doesn't come to an end. No. It's what you need and the part that you play. Mm -hmm. And well, getting families have, and so on there. Right. When you have a sick child, you don't just go to the doctor one time and 
you're cured. I, that would be amazing, but unfortunately, that's that's not the case with these right. families. So um, we know we're not going to take you one time and say, well, good luck. You know, we're going to help you as many times as we can. Absolutely awesome. And to the best of my knowledge, you've never turned a family down, not one that qualified. Right. That's some absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I know we've got a lot more to talk about. I know that tomorrow we're having our big event. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much fun. We're very excited. Um, and we're going to let people know about how to, be, how to be able to do that. So let's do that again like right now. Folks, you can very, very simply go to letstalknewsnow.com. You can get information there. There's a link there to Miracle Flights for Kids. You can also uh, call and make your reservations for our event for tomorrow. It's going to be at the Queen Victoria Pub from 6 to, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. Get your information. But don't go away. i got more to talk about with Vanessa.